Hey everybody, Jim here, coming to you from Tokyo Video Gamers right here in Akihabara with your daily dose of Japanese gaming goodness. It is the import game of the day, and today's game is... Shinryu for the Sega Saturn. This is a 1997 release that was developed and published by Warashi both in the arcade and on the Sega Saturn, and I only just now found out that it was also ported to the PS1 by Natsume and released in North America in 2002 under the title Gekio Shooting King, and from what I can tell, it's a pretty solid conversion. If it's as good as this one, then go ahead and pick it up because this is an awesome shoot 'em up and kind of like Trizil on the Dreamcast, this is a Saturn shooter that despite being really good, I feel is underappreciated mostly because it shares the console with some big names like Radiant Silvergun and Dodon Pachi. This is a pretty simple and straightforward shooter, not a lot of gimmicks to the gameplay, and if I had to compare it to another shooter, I'd probably compare it to the Raiden series. You only have two buttons to worry about with this game, a fire button and a button for your super bombs, and you have various power-ups to collect to increase your speed, firepower, and point bonuses. There are three different colored orbs you can pick up to change your main weapon, from a Vulcan machine gun to a missile barrage to an electricity shot that jumps to various targets on the screen. Each weapon is better suited to different situations, so for example, if lots of smaller enemies are filling up the screen, I like to use the electricity shot to dispatch them as quickly as possible, but for the boss battles, it's usually a better idea to have the firepower of one of the other weapons. Also, depending on what weapon you have equipped at the time, your super bomb will be altered as well, and again, they all have a different range of effectiveness. Overall, this is a very fun shooter with smooth controls and a decent level of challenge. One thing I don't like in this game is that when you lose a ship, you are stripped of your power-ups and you're also sent back to a checkpoint unless you die fighting a boss, and this is an irritant in any shoot 'em up but other than that, the gameplay here is very solid. The visuals are also pretty nice. The stages are colorful and detailed. There are some pretty cool effects used, and the enemy designs, especially the boss ships, look really cool. The soundtrack, I would say, is just decent. Nothing memorable, but definitely not bad, and all things considered, this is a game that I can easily recommend to shooter fans, especially if you like them simple and challenging. It's Shinryu for the Sega Saturn, and it's awesome. 